and I'm really delighted that you join me here in this mastery session. This mastery session is all about the six noble truths of winning in business. It's going to be very valuable to you if you're an entrepreneur, maybe a manager, uh, some kind of a, a world changer or an empire maker. I've been in business for many years. I've launched a number of successful businesses and I wanted to walk you through six, six GCAs gargantuan competitive advantages that will really help you build a business that dominates your domain and stands the test of time. And a GCA, in case you don't know the term from the 5AM Club, is essentially a gargantuan competitive advantage that allows you to operate in a way so that you have no competition. And it's really important to remember this. A lot of people want the rewards of world class without doing what it takes to receive world class. I'll repeat that again because I think it's a valuable insight for you. A lot of people want the rewards of world class, but they're not willing to do what is required of world class. And so these six gar competitive gargantuan uh, advantages, they're really, really simple, but they're often practiced in the breach. And once you start doing them and practicing them and training them, they will become your way of being and the results are going to speak for themselves. So let's get right into the first one, sincerity. We live in a world where a lot of people are operating from an entitled place. A lot of people are thinking about themselves because they're coming from scarcity. A lot of people are um, more interested in applause and ego stroking than being sincere as a business person. So the first thing is, it's not really very common to see someone who is really earnest, sincere, someone who looks you in the eye and says, here's what I'm gonna do and actually delivers it. So be a sincere person. It's more rare than you might imagine. Number two, punctuality, punctuality. Here's something I suggest to you. If you're not early, you're late. And I think in many ways, punctuality is the trait of royalty. I see this all the time. You're waiting on a conference call and the other people show up five minutes late or 10 minutes late or 15 minutes late or they miss it. We do live in a world where people are overwhelmed. There's tremendous amounts of complexity. Being early for meetings, conference calls, even for a dinner. If you're meeting a friend for dinner or business uh, you know, prospect for dinner, Get there early, bring a book, bring your digital device, catch up on whatever it is you want to catch up on and be there first. Uh, the third noble truth to win in business is over delivery. So we do live in a marketplace or operate in a marketplace where generally what you see in people's advertising is much more lofty and over promised than what you actually receive. It's really remarkable how, whether it's an airline or a, or a hotel or some restaurants, or maybe it's a shoe store, maybe it's a luxury good brand, they show you these pictures and they suggest that's what you're going to get. And then when you actually get it, you're disappointed. And so over delivery simply means under promise, and then in terms of the value you deliver and the product you deliver and the user experience that your customers receive, be a merchant of wow. Give them so much value. Make doing business with you a mesmerizing, delightful experience. Your responsibility, I lovingly and respectfully suggest to you, is to be a merchant of wow. To be so great at what you do, you leave your customers breathless in doing business with you. The fourth noble truth or the fourth tactic is really promise keeping. Again, this is not something very common and that's why it is a GCA, a gargantuan competitive advantage. I see it all the time. People say, I'm gonna do this. I'll make a connection with this. Uh, I'll invite your friend on my podcast. I will uh, bring you to my favorite restaurant. I will invite you to my house. I just see people making promises all over. And let's go a little deeper. Each time you break a promise to a customer, you erode or you reduce the credibility they have for you. And then you break another promise, you lose not only credibility, but you lose trust. You break another promise, you lose the faith of the person. You break another promise, you lose the relationship. Let's go even deeper. Every time you make a promise to yourself, 
to get up at 5 a.m. and join the 5 a.m. club and run the 20-20-20 formula that is transforming the lives of so many people around the world that I teach in the book. Every time you break a promise, you'll lose credibility, you lose self-trust, you lose self-faith, and eventually you have no love and respect for yourself. So the fourth point is really over-delivering on your promises. Hi, it's Robin Sharma, and I really hope you're enjoying this episode of The Mastery Sessions. I'm absolutely delighted that people from across the planet are getting such great results from what I'm doing in The Mastery Sessions. Well, for a long time, we've received so many requests from advertisers to put their ads on The Mastery Sessions, and I have resisted doing so. And yet what I wanted to do very quickly is offer you two resources that I absolutely know will create some marvelous shifts and elevations and results in your performance and in your personal life. The first is my book, The 5 AM Club. If you have not read it, you really need to know it's one of the best selling books on the planet right now for a reason. It is transforming the lives of everyday heroes and people who want to make their ascent to world class. Definitely read The 5 AM Club you are gonna find it a very special book for your rise to world class. Secondly, for years people have been asking me, Robin, we want you to be our mentor. Robin, we want you to be our coach. We wanna learn what you've taught to the billionaires and the NBA superstars and the other professional athletes and the film icons and the titans of industry. Really quickly, all you need to do if you're interested in me becoming your mentor, head over to thecircleoflegends.com. Thecircleoflegends.com. I've created a world-class digital mentoring program where I will work with you each month to help you make your leap and your ascent to absolute world-class. Okay, now back to the episode. The fifth noble truth to win in business is that the most honest person in the marketplace always leads the field. And I hear this a lot. I've actually heard people come to me at my leadership presentations and say, Robin, well, if I was completely honest, my competition would eat me for breakfast. If I was completely honest, there's no way I'd have any income. Well, the first thing is, at the end of the day, you want to have a clear conscience so when the lights go out and your head hits the pillow, you feel really good about yourself. Few things are as powerful as having a great relationship with your conscience, right? I mean, that's so fundamentally important. But here's what I've learned watching business people and working with a lot of the best pe business people on the planet for a long time. Most entrepreneurs, most business people, most empire makers, play a very short game. It's a cash grab. It's try to get as much from as many people as quickly as possible. The true legendary leaders, the true titans of industry are thinking about a very long game. They're saying, yes, I want to be world class, but I want to own my domain for the next 30 years, 40 years or 50 years. They even think like the Japanese companies, how their reputation will be considered 100 years after they're no longer alive. That's really a great example of playing the long game. And if you're interested in building strong relationships of loyalty with your customers, if you're interested in building a brand that endures, if you're interested in building an iconic enterprise, then being incredibly honest is really a very powerful way to operate. And then the sixth noble truth of winning in business is all around ingenuity. Ingenuity and innovation are absolutely essential and if you're not growing and optimizing your products and your team and the value you deliver and the user experience and your marketing and your operations, you're actually on the path to obsolescence and irrelevance. So what I'm suggesting to you is you always want to be leaving every product you touch better than you found it. You want to be a relentless innovator, especially when you're successful, especially when you have hordes of people and the majority doing business with you. You never want to rest on your laurels. You never want to coast on your winning formula. You want to have the bravery and the wisdom to break your winning formula from time to time. And you know what? It's not an easy balance. You basically want to keep the core things or the core ways of being and values uh, that have helped you. And at the same time, you want to break some of your winning formula so you're bringing new, fresh value to the field because the marketplace rewards originality. And I'll repeat that again because it's such an important one. Your marketplace rewards originality. The fresh product, 
the new musical artist, the new film, the new restaurant with the food that disrupts the entire industry because it's so gloriously original is the one everyone talks about, is the one people love to do business with. So you want to have the wisdom to continually make what you're doing better and better. And where does that come? It comes from you growing. It comes from you staying humble. It comes from you not losing the sparkle in your eye so that you keep on getting better and better. So I hope this mastery session about the noble truths of winning in business has been helpful to you. If you want to go deeper and you really want to get some of my advanced information on leadership and building a, an empire and, and experiencing fortunes, not only business fortunes, but creative fortunes, productive fortunes, and even spiritual fortunes, I absolutely encourage you to read my book, The 5 AM Club. It's currently one of the best selling books in the world right now for a reason. It truly works and the information in it is profound, powerful, and tactical. I spent four years handcrafting this book, putting in a lot of the information I've been sharing with the billionaires that I mentor and the NBA superstars and the members of royalty. So definitely read The 5 AM Club. Please know at the end of the book are details for a free 66 day mentoring program so you can lock in the early rising habit uh, for a lifetime. Also, I'm super happy to share with you that a percentage of my royalties from the 5 AM Club goes to helping uh, children suffering from leprosy. So when you invest in your copy of the 5 AM Club, you not only are investing in your greatness and your transformation and you playing at your best, you're also investing in helping a child who's suffering from a really difficult disease. If you want to go even deeper and would like me to be your mentor, because as you know, every great athlete has a coach for a reason. The coach holds that person accountable, pushes that the athlete, teaches the athlete the winning moves that will allow them to be the, the champion of the industry. And so for years, people have been asking me, Robin, we would love for you to be our mentor. We'd love for you to be our coach, you know, online. And so I've heard all the requests from around the world. And so my team and I have carefully created an absolute world-class digital mentoring program called the Circle of Legends and if you're interested in me mentoring you and learning my advanced methods on being the most creative person in your field producing more in a day than most people really get done in a few weeks learning what the best leaders on the planet do if you really want to build your empire along with living a soulful life and a wonderful lifestyle so you're actually working less but and finally if you found this episode valuable please share it with three of your friends and here's why the teacher learns the most so when you share this episode with your friends and then you talk about it sort of fill create a mastermind group you talk about the lessons and the ideas and how you'll apply it you will actually deepen and integrate the learning so it affects and elevates your performance and you're also helping your three friends so step by step the world becomes a better place thanks a lot for being here with me in this episode and i'll see you in the next mastery session